Hello everyone around the world. Welcome back to my channel, Adrenal Bahasa Lovers Ministry. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so so that you'll be notified of my new videos. Guys, don't forget to read your Bible every day. Every day. And apply his words every day. As the days are getting darker, it means you need to rejoice because Jesus Christ is coming. He's coming very soon, whether you like it or not, to set up his kingdom, his millennial kingdom here on earth for a thousand years. Are you um, excited to be part of that? Would you be interested to be part of the millennial kingdom? Then if you are, I really suggest you to hop on board. Invite Jesus Christ as your Lord, your God, your Savior, and start spending time with Him through reading His words, applying His words, and prayer. We are owed to pray without ceasing. All right, guys? So that's only an invitation. If you want to be part of Jesus' kingdom here on earth. And if you want to be part of kingdom of God in heaven as well. So, but without Jesus Christ, guys, you will go to hell. Not in purgatory, but in hell. And then these are God's words that I am planning to work on today. And I have several testimonies. Especially testimony, one of the, uh, this is another power, powerful testimony that I would like to share to you guys in regards about the race. The two races, the election that happened last month that uh, I was one of the candidates for the school board member and I was a candidate of city council and anyway guys. I had a great testimony for that, although I did not win, and I'm happy that I did not win because I definitely, uh, you know, happy what I'm doing right now. So, yeah, but anyway, guys, I have a word for you. That's so much for that because, but check out, by, by the way, this, uh, this God's words, if I did not mention, if I did, I apologize, but I would like to remind you all that I've been posting my the God's words only on my Facebook page. That is www.facebook.com slash Adrenal So if you are my friends on Facebook, just watch out of the, the testimony that, that um, it will blow your mind what Jesus has done in my life <clears throat> last month during the election you know so anyway i have a word for you guys that the holy spirit spoke to me this is god's word literacy this is the holy spirit spoke to me last february 15 2023 the title of this message is empty yourself to hear from god jesus clearly the word says Empty yourself from self-righteousness, self-pity, grudges, forgiveness, shame, anxiety. Depression and all unrighteousness. Be an em again, be an empty vessel ready to be used at all times. Empty yourself so that God Jesus can pour into you the anointing and the spiritual gifts that you will need and use for his kingdom and glory. Once you will come to Jesus Christ, you will become his new creation. That's in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 ESV or English Standard Version it says therefore if anyone 
is in Christ. He is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. You will become a new, better version of yourself than yesterday. Don't be too hard on yourself. If you fail, then get back up and try again, but never quit. Just empty yourself every day. That's the word, guys. If you have never received Jesus Christ as your Lord, you're getting your Savior. Today is the day of your salvation. Don't wait tomorrow because tomorrow is no guarantee for you. Again, tomorrow is no guarantee for you. You may going to die today. Or tomorrow without Jesus Christ, you will go to hell. Not in purgatory, but in hell. You will not going to be changed into butterfly, whatever it is. That is a lie. Those teachings are not in the Bible. Only the teachings that you should believe here in the Christian Bible. Not the, the Bible that has additional books that were written in the dark ages so you should be careful you need to research okay guys okay guys all you have to do is to repent 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 invite jesus christ as your lord your god and your savior and then promise him to follow him for the rest of your life you can pray your simple prayer or you can pray along with a simple prayer here you go lord jesus christ Please forgive me for all my sins. Please come into my heart and into my life and be my Lord, my God, and my Savior. From now on, Jesus, I will follow you for the rest of my life. Amen. So if you prayed your own simple prayer or you prayed along with a simple prayer, according to the Bible, your name is written in the book of life. But if you are still rejecting Jesus Christ as your Lord, your God, and your Savior, according to the Bible, in the book of Revelation, chapter 20, verse 15, it says, If anyone's name was not found, written in the book of life, was casted in the lake of fire. So guys, take this as a warning and invitation. You have a blessed day. Bye-bye.